Hilma Baron's stomach rumbles, and her throat remains parched. It is the afternoon of her first day in this new world. In the last, she crafted herself a basic cutting tool and a cudgel with which she might be able to defend herself. And then there's the cave that she found. While it does give her some shelter from the elements, the cold will still creep in, and the poor, damp conditions in its depths mean it's no good for fire. Or at least that's the reason we're going with. And so, with what light remains, we must prepare for the night. Shoulder, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm. In a wood, we're here with Hilma Baron, in our cave with a little bit left of day one. And we have a lot to get done before the end of the day here. I've done a fair bit of research in between episodes here. Our first night here is going to be cold, deadly cold, and we want to avoid cold as much as possible. As the colder we get, the more damage our limbs will take, and damaged limbs, well, they get colder, and that's no good for no one. And as unfortunate as it is, this fire ring, we know, <laughs> cannot go down below, where the temperature is actually a little bit better, but still not enough to sleep by. And even with a fire going here, I don't think it's going to be enough. I have done a few mechanical tests off camera, and let's just say the cold hard ground, even with a fire, isn't enough for one to be able to have a decent sleep, or a sleep at all. So I've been looking through what we are actually able to craft, what we're able to do right now, as that glare hits us, and there is something that we can make very close by. We have this great big pine tree here, and jumping into our construction menu, if we go and search for pine, we can actually make a basic pine lean-to. There are always new additions to Cataclysm, and this is one that I haven't seen before. We just need some long sticks, a cutting tool, and hammering, which is just a rock, so that's something that we can definitely build. However, we're probably going to need to take this firing apart and shift it over towards here because um, this little lean-to is just going to be underneath this pine tree. So that is something that we 100% want to try and get done. In addition to all of that, if we jump into here and have a look at clay, we can actually make some clay things without a clay kiln. Going to the jug here, it's a lot more basic for us to make. We just need fire. Nearby fire is a possibility for us to be able to make this. Now, sorry, not the jug, because the jug still requires us to have patches and stuff like that, and I think it's going to be a little while before we get that first kill. A clay pot is what we're looking at. It's got a food cooking quality, boiling. This could be a game changer for us. But yes, it also needs water, so we'd need to be able to contain water, which we can't. So that means that to make this, we'd have to make it by a water source. Right now, we've got no water sources. You might also notice that the map is looking a little bit different. We are going to be using the Altica tile set for the map, just because it's a little bit cleaner, and we don't have those missing tile set notifications all over the place. So this will help us see our area a little bit better. We did go very far to the north, and we didn't find a single pond, a single river, a lake, or anything in between. We did find some ominous craters, and we found some sources of clay. There is clay. It's a decent distance away, but hey, it's still up there. So we are going to have to go out. We are going to have to journey. And right now, it's still sunny, but I think we're just going to have to grit our teeth and go with being thirsty for now because we need to prepare for the night and we don't even have a means to make a fire just yet. What we are going to have to make is a fire drill. It's pretty basic, it's just going to be sticks, some splintered wood and a short piece of cordage. And we can get that cordage by using withered plants. We can get withered plants pretty easy by breaking these young trees which will in turn give us sticks. And there we go, we got a withered plant and we got two long sticks there. We're going to go and drop this cudgel for a moment so that we can try and snap these sticks. Let's see. Not a chance. We'll try again. There we go. Okay, it took a few attempts, but we got there in the end, and we got splintered wood and a stick out of that. So let's try and crack this last one here. No luck. We'll just keep on trying. Using all of our seventh strength, we finally got there in the end. Splintered wood, two sticks. Okay, that's a start. Next up, we are going to need a short piece of cordage. Seven minutes and 30 seconds it will take us to get this crafted. 
And there we go. We have everything we need to make that fire drill, bar the cutting tool. So I think what we're going to do is just collect all this stuff together. We're going to go downstairs, grab the cutting tool, and grab some of our other things that are down there. Rocks, everything really. So we have dragged all of our resources up here. That glare is making it hard to see, and that's something that we're going to work on as well. If we have enough time to do it today, I'd like to try and make some basic straw clothing for us. We can make sandals and we can make a hat, but they take around about six hours to make both of those. So yeah, that's a that's a maybe thing for us. Right now, I think we want to try and see if we can get that fire drill made. We'll set off just towards the side and we'll search for the drill. Okay, primitive rock drill we can make as well. Good to know, but for now, we are just going to go for the fire drill. Now we should have the means to create fire. Good. <laughs> Let's drop it on the ground for the time being. And we want to jump into our construction menu next. So for this, we need to have three long sticks. Right now we don't have that. Let's just go and wield the cudgel once again. And we'll see if we can find some more of these young trees. We'll just give them a quick bash. It's going to give us withered plants and it's going to give us those long sticks that we need. So let's just gather those up, get them all together. And let's try that again. We'll just drop our cudgel though, so our hands are free, so we can work on this easy as. And an hour and 30 minutes for us to do this. But it is shelter, and it's going to be necessary. And there we go. We have a basic pine lean-to. Okay, that firing unfortunately isn't going to be close enough to give us the heat that we need it to. So we could take apart the other firing, which will give us our rocks back. But I think for now, Okay. Oh, we need to have... Oh, that's for a stone fireplace. No, just the fire ring. We'll go ahead and build that over towards the side there. And if we have time, we'll take this one apart. But for now, I'm pretty happy that we have this set. Because it means that tonight, we might be able to sleep. And that's really if this gives us the kind of shelter that I'm hoping it will. <laughs> oh, boy. So... We need to grab our digging stick next, as we're going to go and try and dig up some of this long grass that's around here. That should allow us to get straw. Jumping into the construction menu, we're going to go for grass, and we are going to attempt to remove the grass up here. And just like that, we've got some straw. Two piles of straw. We'll move that to the side, and we'll just do the same thing on these two squares, taking them apart as we go. And let's see, how are we looking now? five piles of straw. I think we're going to need at least seven to be able to make the sandals and the hat. Right now the hat will keep the glare out of our eyes, although there isn't glare at the moment. I think the sandals might be a better option just because we don't want to be damaging our feet. Six piles. Yeah, we need one more I think. So let's go over here. Last bit of grass. Okay, and we'll haul that back. Good. So that is that sorted. There is still a little bit of light left. I'm tempted to go and do a little bit of an explore. We're going to take the fire drill with us, which I know might not sound like the greatest plan. The cudgel protects us. Indeed it does. But if we can find water and if we can start a fire next to it, like over here, for example, we could try and start a fire and unfreeze this water because, um, yeah, we can't smash it but we can't collect it while it's frozen. I am concerned that if we do start a fire here that it might spread and that's, well, that's not good for anyone. So let's see, any other better candidates? Well, I guess maybe we could try and start a fire on the square where the water is. There isn't as much around there. Let's see if it will allow us to ignite that. Okay, let's start a fire quickly and we're gonna start it over here. Nothing to light. Okay, now, what if we drop something on top of the water? I'm going to drop that just for now. Let's go back and grab something. We're just going to wield one of these long sticks for now. I'm going to walk it on over towards there. And let's try and see if we can break that using, <laughs> yet again, what little strength that we have. And we managed. Okay, let's shift some of that off just for the time being, just towards the side. And I want to see if we can just drop the splintered wood on top of there and try and activate that. Okay, we successfully light a fire. We're just gonna, <laughs> we're gonna wait and we're gonna hope. I don't wanna stand too close to it because fire can spread from squares like this. The water is still frozen. 
Yeah, how long do we want to try and give this here? We'll just move that away. Wait a moment or two longer. We can wait 300 heartbeats, how about that? Okay. And, yep, it's still frozen. Still frozen. I think it would take quite a bit of heat for that to actually work for us. So, that's not an option. We could try and build a firing by it, and then that would allow us to stack up a fire. The hot air might melt it over time. Yeah, that's not a bad option. It doesn't take more than 15 minutes to make a fire ring. And if we disassemble this one, we'll have all the rocks that we need. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do for now. Let's go deconstruct simple furniture. We're going to take that apart. And the sun has set. And uh, that chill, uh, it's going to be getting chilly. <laughs> okay, right, that's the water that we're after. Okay, so let's just move the rocks to the side. What we need to do is grab our digging stick. We got it. Jumping back over here. Requires dirt. I guess because this is grass. Yeah, okay. Well, we can remove the grass from there, which should just give us dirt. Remove grass. Yep. Uh, remove grass from that spot. Okay, we're starting to get a little weary now at this point. Let's build that fire ring. There we go. Is that going to be enough? I have no idea. None whatsoever. Let's just drop the digging stick for the time being. Wield this regular stick, dropping that into the fire. That's going to be what we use to get things started. We've got our fire drill. Okay, let's start this fire. There we go. Okay, so standing next to it, we can see that it's hot air. Please melt it. Uh, let's have a look. Eight minutes to 35 minutes with the... Uh, temperature that we've got at the moment. Now this would just give us water to drink right now. If this does melt, then we could potentially try and grab some clay tomorrow and then be able to actually make proper water containing things. There will be a water source around here somewhere, a much larger water source, but for now we're just going to play this uh, dangerous waiting game by the fire as we hope that it's going to, um, yeah, not remain frozen. I'm going to give this fire just a little bit more life. We don't actually have much that we can give it, really. Uh, let's just wield that digging stick and we'll destroy this young tree over here because that'll give us the material that we should need to really get this going. All right, long stick in there and we'll chuck the withered plants in there as well. That'll give it a fair amount of material. Let's check it again. Okay, 15 minutes to an hour and it does take a little while for that to change. But we should see that change. 22 minutes to an hour, yeah, so it's going to slowly start to get a little bit better. I'm not sure if the breeze affects it or not. The water is still frozen. Honestly, I think we're probably just going to have to leave that there for now and kind of come back to it. So let's just take our fire drill back on over towards our impromptu home. And we'll see if we can get a fire started here as well. So we do still have a few long sticks. We want to try and hold on to one of these because I'd like to try and make it into a long pointy stick because we can cook with it. And it's also a weapon that has a little bit more range when it comes to melee. Um, the splintered wood, we'll hold on to that one for now. I don't know if the long sticks, if we break them up into sticks, would give us more material. Not sure. Can't be 100% on that one. Let's drop the digging stick for now. And... Okay, we'll need a fire source. Let's wield that fire drill and give that a go. And a fire. It takes us around two minutes, apparently, for us to do that. Our temperature is rising. I'm hoping that the smoke isn't going to affect us in our little lean-to here. Let's check our temperature. That's okay. If we can keep it around that, we might be able to sleep. We're moderately wary at the moment. We're not actually tired and damn. We are now comfortable, and the smoke is going around us at the moment. It might just be luck. I really hope that the smoke stays out of this little lean-to. It is a very basic shelter though, so I do understand if it doesn't. Let's drop the fire drill for now, and let's just go into weapons. So, we can make a quarter staff as well, and an actual wooden spear. Hmm, okay. It does take us a lot longer to be able to make the wooden spear, but its piercing is much better. Yeah. Not a bad weapon, really. 49 minutes, 59 seconds. We'll see if we have the time and the light to do it. Okay, we're in thin smoke. Let's stop crafting. So, <laughs> we're not immune from smoke here, unfortunately. We're just going to have to kind of back and forth jump around 
to be able to dodge the smoke, which means that we might not be able to sleep here, but we'll at least be able to maybe get an hour of shut eye, which would be great if we can. And look at that, we've got a wooden spear. We can cook with this thing and we can stab at a distance as well. So we've got range out from where we are, as long as it's not on the diagonals. The diagonals, it doesn't work as well. But like down here, you can see that range is looking really nice. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Also, we want to be cautious when we're moving on diagonals because it takes us longer to move in those directions. Okay, so all things considered, we're doing okay for the moment. Let's go check out that other fire. Water, please be melted. It is still frozen. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, 33 minutes to two hours on this one here. And uh, that water is not heating up. Um, even with the fire right next to it, I guess that just goes to show you that even though we do have a fire and we're right next to it as well, we're not getting that much heat from it. Ah oh dear, and this one's about the same in terms of the heat that it's outputting. Let's drop our spear for a moment. I think we are going to need a little bit more wood tonight, so we'll grab up that digging stick of ours, which has an okay amount of bludgeoning to it, not as much as the cudgel, and we'll just go and try and beat down some more of these young trees. Okay, we did actually manage to just find some wild roots there, and some wild vegetables. Okay, we might be able to eat even a little bit of food tonight. The wild vegetables we can eat raw, um, it, it is a danger, for sure, but I think it's one that we might be okay with taking. I'm also going to check out the sunflower that's here as well to see if we can pick it. Unfortunately, we can't. There are many things that we just can't pick right now. I'd also love, okay, a pine bough and a garlic bulb. <laughs> okay, really good scavenging for us. Um, I was just going to say, I would love to find some bird eggs. Uh, we're not going to be able to really cook them yet at this stage, but even eating them raw, I think we'll still be okay. It'll give us a little bit of quench. So let's just stay up here for now and just scavenge through some of the bushes. Some more wild vegetables and a rock. Okay, over towards this one. Nothing in there. And some more wild vegetables. Okay, all right. Decent finds for us. These will repopulate after a little while. So we don't really want to try and destroy these bushes if we can avoid doing it. There's always a chance that there will be something in there. Unfortunately, we're not going to be so lucky as Leif as to find a glass bottle as that stuff doesn't exist here. So we're not just going to come across our savior in the form of a old discarded coke bottle. Even so, I feel like that was some pretty good scavenging for us there. And what we can do while we're sitting in here, we can actually mark a firewood source. So we want to be a little careful with how we do this because we don't want to just be chucking everything and anything in the fire. So I'd like to try and shift some things around. Right now we've got 11 long sticks. I'd be okay with sacrificing maybe six of those at this stage. And so if we jump back into that construction menu, mark firewood source, okay. That was not what I wanted to do. I accidentally marked this as the firewood source. Uh, if I mark another one, does it get rid of it? It does not, but I wonder if I do it on the same space again if it removes it. Okay, we can take it down. Okay, that's good. That's good. So now, if this starts to go out while we're just kind of hanging out here, we will refuel it. Okay, so next thing for us because we're not tired yet at this stage, I think we want to have a look at trying to see if we can craft a little bit of clothing for us. Jumping into armor. Okay, few things that we can make. The straw fedora takes us a long while to actually try and make. The straw hat is the simplest thing we can make. The straw basket, 20 hours. We will eventually get better at basket weaving, but for now, I think we are just going to try the straw hat. It's still two hours and there we go, we're in the smoke, let's stop crafting, and I think we were actually, yeah, dropping some of the wood in there. Let's continue the crafting just outside, more thin smoke, moving over, and there we go, we have a hat for ourselves. Chuck it on, we're feeling good, we lose the conduct nudist because we are nude no more. We got a hat to protect our head. It doesn't have much in the way of warmth, but it is going to stop the sun from getting in our eyes, so we're not going to be blinded during the day. It's It's got a warmth of two, so it ain't, it ain't a whole lot. Yet again, still not tired. I'm kind of tempted to wait until we do get tired, but we don't want to be wasting daylight hours. 
Let's jump back into this and see if we can start on these straw sandals. I doubt we'll actually be able to get that done. And there we go, 18% and we are tired. There's a light drizzle as well, which thankfully in here we will be safe from. Let's have a look at this fire and just see how it's looking. 22 minutes to two hours. So before we go to sleep, we really wanna make sure that we stock it up as much as we can. Right now it doesn't actually have anything in there. So we're gonna go and put three long sticks in there in the hopes that that's gonna give us a fair bit more heat. And, you know, for longer. We also need to think about the rain actually putting out the fire. You know what? Let's just pop out for a second. I do wanna have a look at this. Nope, still frozen, huh? Still frozen. But we do have some wood ash here that we can collect and we can still do something with that, but hey, look at this. I think we actually are considered to be sheltered even when we're like on adjacent squares to our lean-to. I don't know if it's the cave that's doing that. No, I think the lean-to is giving a little bit of shelter there. Nice, okay, good stuff. Our temperature is chilly, rising, it's comfortable now. As long as it stays comfortable, we should be able to sleep. Our mouth is a little cold though. Yeah, there, there really is nothing that we can do about that. What we can try and do though, is sleep, okay? We wake up because we are shivering and yeah, look at this. Cold across the board. And that is even laying in the shelter next to a fire. Okay, okay. We're going to put another long stick in there. That's not going to really help much with the heat output of this fire. I think it's because it's raining that it's making it that much colder for us. It's a calm wind at the moment, so I don't see that being a, a factor. Yeah, unfortunate. This is going to be a hard night for us to get through. And smoke. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, as long as we wake up from it, it's okay. That stone fireplace is looking more attractive. It's going to take us a bit to be able to do something like that, but yeah. We are just going to keep on lying down and trying to sleep, continuing as much as we can, but shivering wakes us up time and time again. So we might be better off trying to use this time making something. I want to be sleeping. I really do. But I don't think we're going to be able to. Well, I was going to start working on the sandals, but I think before we do, let's have a look at our vegetables here. We can eat all of them. The garlic bulb, uh, that's its going to make us very dehydrated, so let's not do that. The wild roots we can have, and they aren't as, um, they're not going to upset us as much as the wild vegetables will. The unfortunate thing about eating these as well, we won't, we won't want to craft after because we'll probably be too upset. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to try and craft. Moving out of the smoke whenever we find ourselves in it trying to stay warm and there we go we finish we finish them just as the sun crests over the horizon and it's our worst nightmare believe it or not it is snowing and that is really bad for us because when we're away from the fire we will be taking damage let's put on our sandals for now though we're dehydrated we're tired it's not a good place for us to be in. We can get a little bit of hydration if we do find some bird eggs to eat. But the snow means that we can't range very far from home. Boy, we are... <laughs> we're in trouble. We are most certainly in trouble. The second that we step out of there, we can see that our temperature drops down dramatically. So that ain't an option for us. The clay that we want to gather is uh, a distance away. So we won't be gathering that either. We could wait here for a time, hoping that the snow will stop. And if it does, that means that we can go out and explore. This fire, okay, still going for at least 23 minutes, up to two hours. It's hard for us to gauge exactly. I'm trying to have a look around at the bushes that are closer we might be able to try and go for some of them just because they aren't that much further away. So let's do some gathering. Okay, a large rock and some vegetables, which are frozen, as you might expect. Over here, yeah, <laughs> that's where we tried to make that fire and failed miserably. We'll scavenge over here yet again. And as soon as we start to get to the position where we are that cold, that, I mean, like, like we are right now, we want to be heading back this is most certainly a risk, but I feel like we need to try. 
something. Ceramic shard. Okay, right, we're getting warnings about Frostnip. That's not good. But a ceramic shard? I didn't think that we could find anything like this. A broken ceramic shard. It is heavy and it has a somewhat sharp edge. Okay. We're going to bring that back with us. That's a bit of civilization. A bit that, that I never expected to see, but I imagine that Hilma is happy to see something. Some sign of civilization. Even if it is something as small as a shard. Okay. We've got maybe two more that we can head up before we have to head back to that fire. Nothing. Tanbark. Okay. Tanbark's alright. We'll start hauling that back. But I am getting concerned about how cold we are. There we go. Okay. We went to very cold, but it's rising. Chili is okay. It's, it's not great. But it's better than being very cold. I think we're going to try and nip out and grab that large rock and the wild vegetables just so that we have them. Get them moving. Okay, very cold. We started taking damage to our head. We need to get back in. Okay, yeah, our mouth hurts. Yeah. That's the kind of cold that we are dealing with here. Our head is aching. We're just going to stay nice and close to this fire for now. And you know what? I think we, we might need to just try and eat what we have. Even if it does make us upset. At the same time though, we're going to take a moment to use that garlic bulb to make garlic seeds. We'll put down that ceramic shard for now. And um, we'll keep those seeds because one day we will be able to plant them. Right now, the garlic isn't going to help us. The seeds might down the line. I'm just having a look at what else we can make at this stage. And we can actually make a wooden needle. It'll take us a little while to try and do it. But... Okay, I was going to say all we have right now is time. And we've got a tool. A wooden needle. We are going to need thread to be able to really do anything with this. And even then, we're going to need a lot more. Yeah, I think sinew is going to be our best bet to be able to actually use that. Let's put this down. Take a step outside. Chilly and falling. Okay, it's still very, very cold. Even though it isn't snowing anymore, the temperature is still low enough that um, being out here for a long period of time will do more damage to us. I want to try and see if we can just haul this a little bit closer. Okay, back into cover. We're safe. And our fire is currently out, so we need to get that going again ASAP. So we'll chuck some more long sticks in there. Enough to get something started. And there we go light and with it a little bit more warmth we're still chilly even just sitting by it we're going to spend the next little bit just making some more cordage so that we've actually got it on hand and so that hopefully we'll get better at making it in the future making other things with it passing time like that i'm just hoping that the rain's going to stop so that we can get out and actually start to try and collect some of the water that is falling right now because believe me i would love to be able to collect this water i really really would one of the most basic types of funnels that we can make is a birch bark funnel but for that we still need to have some kind of glue bone glue is our best option but for that we need to have killed something right now <laughs> with the temperature being what it is i don't think that's going to happen chasing after game while we're feeling like this yeah, we really need this rain to stop. Okay. I don't know how I didn't see this before. I didn't see it because we needed cordage to be able to make it. We can make a grass skirt. A primitive skirt made from grass. Not much more than that. I mean, it's got it's got one warmth. So it really, it really is not much at all. Um, but in saying that, that's, uh, that's okay. And also a headdress in the form of a wreath made from plant material woven into a ring. It's got zero warmth, so I don't think that it will help us much at all. Uh, the grass skirt, that might. And going off of that, we can actually make other things out of grass as well. Grass blanket, grass sheet, grass yarn. Okay, okay. Grass, rather than straw. Yet again, another thing that is new that uh, I was not aware of. Okay, so. For us to be able to make the shirt and all the rest, we need a proper loom and everything. And blankets, 
That could work. It just needs plant fiber, but it needs yarn. Yeah, so when it comes down to it, we will need a spinning wheel to be able to make most of these things that are here. Because yarn, yeah, distaff and spindle, or spinning wheel. But for now, we, we can try and make this grass skirt. Gives us something to do with our time while we're here. Well, we had to move out of the smoke, but there we go. Hey, moving up in the world. Yes, I know we are dehydrated. That is a big, big problem. But small victories, you know? Small victories. So for a distaff and spindle, all we need is a stick. Okay. A, a, just a regular stick. So let's go and break one of these sticks here. Our strength is a little lower at the moment because, um, well, we're hungry, we're thirsty. Let's see if we can get it to crack. Okay, it took a while for us to do it, but that's done. Jumping back into here, let's see. Distaff and spindle, 11 minutes. Okay, craft it. There we go. And light drizzle, that's much better. Let's have a look at this. A pair of specialized wooden rods used in spinning fibers into thread and yarn. Okay, that little bit of tailoring ability that we have, that is definitely coming in handy now. Let's drop it on the ground for now and take a step outside of our shelter. Look at that. Look at that. Any kind of weather, and we are no good. I don't think that would give us frostbite, but it would certainly make us very, very unhealthy. Which right now, yeah, we can't deal with that. So, jumping back into this, let's have a look at grass once again. Grass yarn. Okay, it takes a while to be able to make it. But we can make some grass yarn and I don't know exactly how much of this it's going to give us but it's going to get us on the way to being able to make a bloody blanket if we get 10 grass yarns we can make the blanket just as is the grass sheets okay so I think the most efficient way to do this is going to be trying to make it with the yarns rather than making the sheets first because the sheets take an hour and 40 minutes to be able to make you know just one of them and we need two so that's way more time, way more time than this will take. Really though, the cloak is what could make a difference because that covers our torso, our legs, and it does have a warmth of 10. It is still quite a few yarns though. Really, the blanket? The thing is, we can wear the blanket while we're just walking around as well. So yeah, for now, we just need to try and work on some yarn. A whole heap of it, if possible. Uh, we're not going to be able to get all of that done. Okay though, but here's the thing, we could theoretically just make the sheet. The sheet still gives us warmth, and it's warmth across everywhere. It's encumbering, for sure, but that we could do. Even so, in saying that, it's seven hours to be able to make that. Oh man, we are stuck no matter how we look at it at this point. But we aren't dead yet, Hilma. We've managed to craft an okay amount for us today, considering we haven't really been able to go outside at all, and it is still the morning. There is more of this day left. We do, however, need to find an unfrozen source of water, so we are going to need to plot a course, either heading out towards the west or up here to the northeast. Either way, we are going into the unknown, and we can only go there if we aren't feeling how we're feeling right now, which is miserable because of the cold. Well, actually, in saying that, we're not miserable. Hilma is doing okay. All things considered, her mood is still up. She is very thirsty, and that is a concern of mine. And I know we didn't range very far today, but we still accomplished a whole lot. A whole lot more than we did in the first. We have fire, we have a hat, we have sandals, we've got a skirt, and we've got the means to make yarn. If we could get a sheet, if we could get that blanket, we'd be able to sleep. Right now, we aren't dead tired, but we probably aren't far off it. By the time that midday rolls around, we'll be dragging ourselves around. So I'm hoping that we can find water before then, even if it means taking a mad dash off into the rain. And I really don't want to do that, because it could mean damaging ourselves. But a little bit of damage is better than dying of thirst. So in the next our Odyssey, to find water will be underway. So, please do join me then. If you enjoyed today's episode, if you enjoyed the progress that we've made so far, please consider leaving a comment or a like 
to let me know if you enjoyed the show. And heck, if you've got any fan art or fan fiction that you want to share, head to the Discord down in the description and you'll find the fan art section awaiting you on the Rikon Roleplays Discord server. But you know what? Twitter works too. And so, for now, I have been Rikon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.